All right, guys. So welcome to another video for the Mi 11X, also known as Poco F3 and the Redmi K40. Now, once again, we are talking about a MIUI-based custom ROM. This time, it is MIUI SR 22.5.1. 22.5.1 is the latest beta update by Xiaomi for Chinese devices, and they have made this usable for the global audience. And I've been using it since the last couple of days, and of course, Mi 11X is my primary, so it makes a lot of sense to go ahead and try custom ROMs and give you guys a complete review. So before we get into the details, if you haven't already, please subscribe because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. my name is Kalash, let's get going. Now let's see what we have here. We have 22.5.1 Android version 12, 1st of May 2022. So this is a fairly recent update, right? Now let's talk about the change log over here. Fully debloated, DODX ROM, ROM is decrypted, orange fox recovery included, safety net passes by default, no notification delay. This is a very interesting and important mention over here because uh, MIUI has been bugged with this particular issue since a very long time but there is something else that i'm facing as an issue i will mention that in the review today no magisk permission delay wide angle kernel in wide angle wow <laughs> i meant wide angel shouldn't it have been wild angel anyways wide angel kernel included for better performance and better battery backup option to select 90 hertz in display settings option to choose mi 12 or 13 control center that does require a reboot it does have an inbuilt ad blocker extended power menu per app dark mode option all requested language are available screenshot frame added so a pretty interesting combo of all the features that are included in this particular rom now the reason i say that is because a lot of those features and uh, issues that have been fixed actually make a lot of sense to me when i'm using miui so that is the reason i sort of prefer using miui sr but uh, yeah anyways clean flash is recommended this is a recovery rom based on eu no g photos mod okay now let's go back to the home screen and let's talk about the interesting part first things first what matters for me in my personal phone is the smoothness and as you can see the smoothness is just there right even if you go to the google feed it was stuttering there because it was probably refreshing but otherwise the google feed on this particular rom has been pretty pretty rock solid pretty fluid no issues whatsoever even if you keep scrolling and go to the home screen the animation is pretty good right now you do have your control center over here with all the other options including the performance mode which i did use in order to go ahead and run the benchmarks and play games as well. The new game turbo with GPU settings is also included. We will talk about that. Now, if you go to the camera mode over here, you can see that you have the latest version. You can disable guidelines and stuff like that, right? So these options are definitely present over here. AI watermark, movie effects, document mode, right? Protect your documents. So enhanced, let's go ahead and click a picture here okay right so nothing there anyways as you can see so the camera app of course is the latest one if you go to the launcher settings you do have your wallpapers available over here which is the super wallpapers and your molten glass wallpapers as well you have to download them once but after that they work absolutely fine no problem whatsoever over here as well in this custom ROM, I'm not able to update my super wallpapers, which is a little weird because uh, on the stock ROM, it works fine. And these custom ROMs are about or supposed to make things better than the stock ROM. Anyways, so wallpapers option along with all the molten, molten glass and these crystallization wallpapers are present. So they work absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. So you almost get the complete, not almost, you actually get the complete... Uh, MIUI 13 experience here, right? Now, if we talk about bloatware, of course, this ROM is absolutely debloated. You have the most essential apps that are needed. For example, if you go to the security application, you will see that this is 6.2.1. This is the latest security version available over here. And as I mentioned earlier, the game turbo that you get in this particular ROM is the latest game turbo with GPU settings, as you can see. These are all the other options. I've not tried these. I'll probably, you know, make a gaming review with these options enabled and see if it actually makes any difference to the FPS and stuff. But yes, you do get the latest game turbo. I had a very slight hint of lag there. I don't know why. 
So let's go to settings here and let's go to my device. MIUI version is MIUI SR. All the device specifications are present over here along with 1st of May security patch. Wow. That was quick. Even for a beta update, that's quick. Is the May security patch even out? I, I don't know. Anyways, it might have been out. So 6 plus 2, you do get uh, extended RAM over here, right? So if you go to uh, notification and control center, you will have the option over here. Let's click on it. MIUI 13 control center. So I had enabled it. It does ask you to reboot the device once. Uh, I did reboot the device, but then... I don't know why it just went away. So probably you can enable or disable it and reboot again. The MIUI 13 control center will be available and it'll work fine. So you do have the option of additional cards, items shown on the lock screen. You do have a lot of status bar customization options. You have app notifications over here, notification shared customization. So there are a lot of features here and there which are added to this particular MIUI SR version, which is a good thing. Once again, uh, wallpaper and customization does give you options which are MIA 13 based, which is a good thing. Always on display is working fine. I've not had any major issues. You have your standard charging animations over here. Power menu access on lock screen can be enabled or disabled. So all these things, you know, they just enhance your experience with this particular ROM. Fingerprint unlock, face unlock, all these things are present and they work absolutely fine. If you actually go to additional settings, you do have gesture shortcuts over here. And let's see, is it enabled? Yes. So three finger screenshot along with scrolling screenshot is enabled and it works absolutely fine. Device frame is also an option. Memory extension, the great gimmick is also available over here right now let's go on to something like special features you do have the MIUI 13 sidebar over here for games and videos that works fine you do have MIUI lab which is blank light mode so all these options are present this is definitely a ROM which comes with MIUI dialer and MIUI messaging so it makes you feel that it has the complete MIUI 13 experience but there is one inherent problem with this particular ROM the major problem is whenever you install any application you will have have to manually especially a banking application if you are having this issue of any of your banking applications not detecting your sim card you will actually have to say for example if i go to whatsapp you'll have to go to app info okay and then you'll have to go to permissions and there is this specific permission right there is this specific permission called get device info you will have to click on always allow and for whatsapp you'll have to allow call history and uh allow contacts access because without that on every reboot you know i have had this ex experience at least with whatsapp that my contacts just don't show up they just show up as numbers so you have to at least fix this MIUI SR team this is a humble request you all are doing a brilliant job but banking applications and messaging applications like these you have to manually go ahead and give them the permission of get device info I really hope that can be fixed in the future now let's talk about the battery backup so I've had about two to three different charge cycles over here and the battery backup on this particular ROM has been pretty decent compared to the stock ROM right you have the performance mode toggle over here active since 10 hours and 32 minutes as you can see and uh, screen on time has been of around two hours so pretty splendid battery backup we are still at a good 73 percent so after you let it charge for two to three charge cycles you should be absolutely good to go and the charging speed with the 33 watt charger is doing a splendid job as well you have things like optimized charging automated tasks and uh, zero times charge should a temperature normal battery health excellent i really hope someday they can make it close to apple when it comes to battery health accuracy and this will be very very reliable then now all said and done the gaming part on this particular rom is pretty splendid okay so we are in bgmi let's go to settings and let's go to graphics Right. So the good thing here is we do have 90 FPS gaming available. I did try it in smooth extreme and 90 FPS and it did a pretty splendid job of gaming performance. Remember to add the game in game turbo along with enabling performance mode. You might get slightly more heating, but overall the gaming experience, the touch experience has been pretty, pretty good. If you get the right settings in your game turbo, you should be having a pretty decent experience. Now the gallery app, of course, on this phone in this particular ROM is updated as well. 
well and the overall smoothness on this particular rom the touch experience is pretty decent although this is based on the latest beta update so let's go to the screenshots section and as you can see 94 percent throttling the average score was 244 284 gips and the max was 251 321 gips in a 15 minute test that is a splendid performance if you talk about antutu benchmark we did not get a very very high score in antutu 676 530 very close to what standard uh, miui scores now if you move on to geekbench over here you will see that the single core is 999 and the multi-core is 3282. So this is typical MIUI performance from day one for the Snapdragon, uh, you know, 870. So all in all, I would say MIUI SR22 beta version is doing a splendid job. You can definitely use it as a daily driver. The only issue I've had is the permissions issue and the contacts not displaying in uh, WhatsApp. There is a workaround around that. But yes, camera experience, battery experience, charging experience is pretty good. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. There is a giveaway going on. The link is mentioned in the description. Do participate. See you in the next one. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.